we're going to go through some basic Docker 101, uh, Container 101, uh, so that you can kind of download, manage, run, uh, inspect, and otherwise look at your containers and, and make use of them. So uh, back on the container registry page, just over here on the repositories, I opened up some more tabs. We, in addition to the deep learning ones, we have some HPC containers, some HPC visualization, and a few other um, third-party partners, uh, Chainer, MapD, uh, Paddle Paddle, et cetera, that we're adding to our container registry. So uh, I'm going to use PyTorch for my examples. So I'm going to come back over here and get this Docker pull command. I'm going to grab the latest February version, uh, Python 3, and I'm going to do this Docker pull command. Now, you saw me this before. Docker pull is basically downloading all the layers of the container. Containers have layers. Uh, the PyTorch container is built upon the CUDA container, which means we already downloaded that. So all those layers are already already exist on the machine, and we just have to download the additional PyTorch layers. So the PyTorch software itself. So this is going to take a little bit. All right, so that's how Docker pull works. It grabs any software and layers you don't already have. You can look at which images you already have with Docker images. Uh, and you can see here, I have both PyTorch and the CUDA layers. 